Next, let's jump to my favorite movies of the last year. I watched a bunch of movies, and a lot of them could be my favorite, but I am selecting the first movies that I watched during 2021 because they were so impactful. I needed to see these at the time that I saw them, and it was perfect. And that is the Night at the Museum collection. I know this is not ever going to be considered high art. It's not going to be some kind of Academy Award winning AFI top films ever. But at the time that I watched these, at the beginning of January 2021, I was feeling real down in the dumps. And I needed some kind of escapism, but I needed to... I didn't know I needed it, but this presented a world that was full of magic and hope and possibilities, and that was something that I needed. I know that sounds cheesy, I know that sounds corny, but I needed it at that time, and I loved every single one of these. The first one, really a special film. Another couple of films that I could have mentioned, which I'm surprised by, was Paddington 1 and 2. And I also found an amazing Twitter because of that. (laughs) There's a Twitter account. I can't remember what it's called, but every single day they post a tweet of Paddington photoshopped into another movie. It's the only good thing going on on Twitter. (laughs) It's brilliant. But Paddington 1 and 2, some of the sweetest movies I have seen in my entire life. Absolutely love them. Unironically incredible films. And it's the exact same story as Night at the Museum. It had that magic, that sweetness that I needed at that exact moment. And I have this listed under films, but I guess it could be TV because it is a PBS miniseries, or I guess it does list it as a film. But it's a Ken Burns film called The Dust Bowl. This is depressing. This was horrifying to watch. I learned about the Dust Bowl in school like everybody in America. You don't understand the impact, the real-world implications of it. And watching this, I just realized, oh my gosh, people were much hardier back then. They were much more, I don't want to say durable because it sounds like I'm talking about a product, but they just, they survived. They just did it. And the thing that made that click for me was... Their farms were destroyed. Their farmland was worthless. Instead of sitting around, they said, okay, I'm going to pack up and move. Or prior to that, they said, oh, there's not much economic opportunity here. I'm going to pack my family into this car, drive across the country and buy a farm and become a farmer. I don't see that kind of same initiative or drive or robustness. In, indivi- in a lot of individuals nowadays. And that was just quite a realization. That was a really great watch. I also watched a bunch of mini... I guess I'll, guess I'll talk about those in the TV. So those are my favorite movies of the year. Really enjoyed the Night at the Museum series, Paddington 1 and 2, and that Dust Bowl film from Ken Burns.